Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Okay. Welcome to our topic. We are from China Mobile Research Institute. Uh, we are Xiao Guang, Han, Xin, and me, Zhiqiang. Xiao Guang is the team leader of our Teleco Cloud Integration team. Han and Xin are the experts from our Teleco Cloud team. I am the open source program manager and I'm responsible for open source strategies and projects management. Okay, now uh, let's let Xin introduce at first. Hi everyone. From year 2009-19, China Mobile began to construct its large-scale NIV SDN cloud network for 4G and 5G core network services in several regions across the whole country. With a hardware scale of around 20 to 30,000 servers for each phase project. Currently, system deployed in phase one project has been put into production for 4G network services such as EPC and MS network. And phase two projects are busy doing end-to-end -end tuning and acceptance tests for rollout of 5G network related services. China Mobile's NIVSDN solution is based on OpenStack. We have carried out in-depth practice of OpenStack with CNCC's NIVSDN network construction. Under current cloud virtualization infra infrastructure System architecture changed a lot compared to traditional mode. Generic server switches has replaced the traditional hardware software integrated black box. Internal backplane connections of traditional hardware exposes and is replaced by using physical and virtual network for bare metal and uh, VMs. Hypervisor Mano and VNF components for cloud infrastructures replace formal internal software architecture within specialized hardware. All these changes brought huge difficulties for system deployment, integration, and debug. It's not possible to use traditional integration more to handle, handle it. Under this background, our team is formed to study and verify integration-related technology for this cloud and virtualization infrastructure. Our CMCC NV SDN network follow ETSI NV architecture. Besides Mano, which provide overall management and orchestration for NV architecture, there are mainly three layers and they are decoupled from vendor product point of view. The bottom layer is hardware resources, including server, network, storage devices as well as security devices, which provide resources like CPU, memory, storage, network, et cetera, for upper layer. The middle layer will be hypervisor layer, which take char charge of hardware virtualization. On top of the hypervisor layer is VNF, which is virtualized core network application. In current CMCC network cloud, these three layers are decoupled. That means whole stack can be composed by product system belongs to different vendors. As mentioned before, this multi-vendor stack has brought much difficulties to system integration, tests, and the troubleshooting. Generally speaking, there are four phases for CMCC and VSDN cloud resource pool integration, which are designed hardware integration, software integration, and acceptance test as shown in these slides. Regarding hardware integration phase, hardware installation, configuration, and acceptance test are included in our CMCC and V cloud network. Only server, BMC, BIOS, RAID config, and switch basic config, auto band network related config are in scope during hardware in integration phase. For hardware configuration, server BMC config, switch basic config can be automatic by using our automation platform called Auto. For hardware integration acceptance test, hardware components check, server BMC BIOS RAID config check, cable connectivity check, 
outbound IP connectivity check are automated currently also by our automation platform. With current, with current layer, the decoupled NLV cloud architecture, high complexity for multi-vendor system and the low efficiency for large scale construction bring many pain points for integration work. Pain point one would be the lack of the unified procedure. Formal procedure are mostly like turnkey more and it's vendors vendors experience based procedure, which is lack of unified and clear process. Uh, there are also some other pinpoints like uh, across the vendors, there would be the barriers, variation of integration procedure, design data, et cetera, among different traditional telecom vendors, lack of the interoperation verification bring more integration issues. Uh, also, like the pain point for uh, false in lower uh, in pain point for harder to locate the issues with hardware software decoupled system. The force in the lower layer bring more force in upper layer system in current layer cloud architecture and make it harder to locate root cause. Mechanism of quick fault detection within each layer is required. Facing these pain points, we use solutions including the standard operation procedure, SOP, the data standardization and automation to handle. Regarding the standard SOP, uh, we as operator lead to build standard unified and compact integration procedure and let our vendor follow the standard. Also early inter intervention from purchase phase is required to minimize the on-site manual hardware in initialization work by pre-config for that in fact. Uh, regarding the standard data, uh, we have unified the, the data template for the hardware integration based on standard LD template. Uh, mean, meanwhile, we have automated the generation of the LD. Also the data asset, which can be used, this data asset can be used to trace the whole integration processes and hand over to the operation phase. For the automation, uh, we think that high efficiency in integration will minimize the manual work with automation tools, which can also lower the tech requirement for on-site worker. Uh, for the high quality test, uh, it can be, the automation tool can be used to do the acceptance test, which can cover the full check. Okay, okay, now my colleague Han will introduce the next part. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Han from China Mobile. Uh, I introduced this uh, page shows the hardware integration automation procedure. Uh, we define the unified hardware integration procedure. Uh, here we can see the pre configuration spec. Uh, when we order hardware, we define the unified uh, pro, uh, product specification for servers and switches. Uh, meanwhile, we use the HLD uh, and uh, design rules to automatically create LD. And then we will define the automatic hardware configuration. And this will uh, decrease manually config mistakes. Uh, then we will uh, go into the automatic hardware check procedure. Uh, and see, at the same time, an on-site engineer will uh, correct the mistakes according to the automatic test result. Uh, finally, we uh, clear all the mistakes of on-site engineering and output the test report and the statistics and go to the software integration phase.
Okay, uh, uh, she will uh, detail uh, introduce the data standardization and automation. For the data standardization and automation, design data standard is a mandatory a prerequisite for automation regarding data standard. We have unified hardware integration data template called low level design. In our hardware integration low level design, there are several sheets, including the resource pool info sheet uh, containing the resource pool name type and the rack info sheet containing the data center room ID row and rack number as well as the device, num uh, device info sheet, uh, which uh, contains the device name, including the server and the switches, as well as the vendor model rack position, BMC IP related information, the BMC account info. Also, we have the cable connecti connectivity sheet uh, containing the the, the the cable connectivity info, including the local device, local port, remote device, remote port. In addition, all the hardware integration LD can be generated automatically by our auto platform with port design info, unified detailed design rules as input. LD also provide the accurate infrastructure data for subsequent software integration, help sys, help sys deployment, issue analysis and locate. It can also be used as basic data for network operation and maintenance after network rollout. Okay, now Han, please continue. Well, here we will uh, further introduce uh, our practice on the automatic configuration for switches. Uh, what we do is uh, to entire pause uh, UR and TUR switch auto configuration on the initial. Mm. In uh, NFV Cloud Phase 1, we found many manual configuration mistakes or inconsistencies by multi vendors, on site staff, and that distinctly influence the efficiency and the quality. So we decide to develop the automatic initial configuration for all the URTR switch. Uh, how we do that? We adjust dynamic IP to its switch on the management port, and then the auto script will log into its switch to execute. Uh, so the benefits is very clear for us, for a scale of 300 UR and TUR switch in one port, the auto tool will uh, automatic, automatically configuration will only takes 15 minutes. And the accuracy will reach 100% rapid, rapid correction and update. Uh, for the prerequisite, we will uh, require all the switch vendors uh, to uh, have some pre-configuration in the factory and ensure automatic software configuration and test. Uh, here we introduce the server automatic test solution. Uh, we, the auto tool also supports the entire pod server automatic config and test. Uh, including configuration for server BMC IP address, hostname configuration, and server BMC BIOS hardware components test. Red face uh, interface and pre configuration uh, is real prerequisite. Uh, China Mobile defined the spec uh, based on the Red Fish protocol. A vendor needs to uh, comply with this spec specification. Server deliver on with the pre configuration uh, on the some BIOS parameters and ensure the automatic server can config. Uh, we have two modes to uh, realize uh, this automatic pr procedure. 
we have center, uh, centralized mode and the distributed mode. Now the distributed mode will have uh, has more uh, high efficiency, uh, and the centralized mode has clear and more light, uh, light weighted. Uh, the benefit is for scale of 1,500 servers in one port. The auto tools will uh, only take one hour to finish all the auto configuration and test. And we also uh, develop the auto cable connectivity check solution. We can automatically uh, check the cable connectivity uh, in the whole port. Uh, we use the LDP protocol to get actual cable connection information and compare, uh, compare to the uh, LD uh, information. For the whole port, the automatic uh, check only takes less than five minutes. Okay, our manager uh, Xiao Guang will uh, further uh, introduce the effect of this automatic procedure. Uh, okay, let me introduce the uh, solution in result. Uh, we can use the, the solution used in the CMCC FA cloud project phase one to phase two. Uh, the integration uh, Efficiency and quality is increased significantly. Uh, for one pod, about 1,000 to 1,500 servers, we only, it has spent only 1.5 hours used for auto configuration and test. And so the uh, system integration uh, time cost decreased uh, sharply. The, at the below, uh, it is about the uh, time cost uh, comparison uh, from the different integration mode. Uh, at the left side, it is uh, manual configuration plus spot check. Uh, this is a traditional integration. Uh, the second one is manual configuration plus auto uh, full check. Uh, the time cost uh, is decreased uh, about uh, 50%. And the, the third one is a manual configuration plus auto full check and plus partly correction. correction. Uh, it also decreased about uh, 50 percent. Uh, the fourth one is about uh, uh, auto configuration plus auto full check. Uh, this is our perfect solution. Uh, it is a, it is a total uh, automation. The uh, time, the time cost uh, is decreased uh, significantly. Uh, next page. Next slide. Uh, as you know, automation is based on the uh, technical uh, standardization. Uh, so that means uh, uh, if you want to uh, implement automation, you should do some pre-requisite uh, requisite, requisite work to uh, make sure the automation can work smoothly. So, uh, but the standardization means we should uh, do some work in industry and uh, we should work together to do some standardization work. Uh, now in CMCFC, we have uh, launched uh, two plans. Uh, one is the uh, CMCC open auto plan. Uh, now we have 14 partners joined in our open auto plan. And we do some best practice of the integration innovation on CMCC and FA cloud con construction. Another one is our open lab. We created an open lab for integration. Uh, and uh, now we involve several vendors to join our uh, joint lab. Uh, in this lab, we can do some verification about the integration and uh, also about the continuous integration, continuous test and continuous deployment. And uh, through that work, 
we can push the NFC cloud and greatly. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you for introduction. Thanks. And uh, yeah, we really welcome friends and community members to join us talk about, discuss about the automation work and uh, also the hardware integration.